Hey, guess what I found? Sweet potato pie. Oh my God, I can't wait to try this. What's up, it's The Culture Detective here investigating your favorite albums. And today I'm going to be doing an album review on the latest My Dream Fever album, Rough and Beautiful Place. So I know this album's been released for like one and a half months now, and maybe even more, and I have not reviewed it because I thought this album would be on Spotify or other streaming platforms, but I just can't find it. And because I can't find it, I just kind of put it off at the side for a little bit. But it is only recently when I found out that My Dream Fever is actually Paranul. They are the same person. What? <laughs> so let's wind it back a little bit. Last year, I reviewed Paranol to see the next part of the dream. And Paranol is a South Korean shoegaze emo artist. And um, to see the next part of the dream is a beautifully crushing and depressing album. And I reviewed it. And that has become my most watched album review on my channel. And that means a lot to me. And then a little bit later in 2021, Paranol, another South Korean artist, Asian Glow, and a Brazilian artist, Sonio Stomam Conta, released a split album called Downfall of the Neon Youth, which I have also reviewed, which I also really like, and ended up in my top 10 favorite albums of 2021. So, extremely promising artist. I like his work. They're promising. And turns out he released a neoclassical new age ambient album under a different name, My Dream Fever. And this is his latest album, Rough and Beautiful Place. And uh, it is certainly very interesting. The album cover here is really bright and green and sunny and blissful and eye-catching. And the music itself is actually very different from Paranol's shoegaze emo work. It's much quieter, obviously, but also it has such a great emphasis on beauty and the nature, which is really nice. So the album starts off with Sprout, which is a 14 minute and 11 second long album opener with cicada noises, loose, gorgeous pianos, atmospheric keyboards, and then a little bit later in the track, we have these randomly speedy drums and then a noisy climax. And sonically, it is pretty nice and it is a really good tone setter for the album. And I also like that this track lives up to the album cover. Like you need to listen to this track while looking at the album cover to get the optimal experience. But that being said though, I wouldn't say this track wowed me or anything. It's just a very long winded opener. But the rest of the album is pretty amazing. The track Moment Is Now is a tightly structured piano and string ballad. It's beautiful, it's earnest, it's heartfelt, and the production is a little bit sunburnt and a bit lo-fi, which may put some people off, but you know what? I like it. I also like the other sounds on the track as well. We get these water running sounds, birds chirping, organic percussion, which sounds like a piece of wood hitting another piece of wood. It's so organic, it's so natural, and I feel like I'm wandering in a forest in South Korea somewhere randomly, and um, this track just is the soundtrack to that. Next up, we have the track Circulation, which is more empty and ambient oriented. But that being said though, it is still a very ethereal and spacey track. It has bits of field recordings of here and there. There are some like singing of sorts, like it, it, it sounds like tribal singing, but I don't want to jump to conclusions, but it's some sort of singing and it sort of hangs there at the back for a very long time. And I wouldn't say it's distracting, it definitely adds a very interesting texture to the track, and it is a pretty interesting track sonically. And Spirit of Love is a nearly 12 minute long track, which starts off with this very passionate, heartfelt piece of piano, which constantly cycles again and again and again. And then about three to four minutes in, we hear these kids playing, like these children noises, like they're playing in a playground or something. And then the piano suddenly start to get quirky and a little jumpy. And then in the second half of the track, we're introduced to these watery, soft, 
hand drums like these hand drums are from like the hindustani region or something and again it sounds really interesting on my first listen i was very confused but honestly it's just such a very refreshing combination of sounds ether is a, a, a very spacey track with a very slow first half and in the second half the chords change a little bit but overall in my opinion the track is a little bit tame unfortunately but the album ends off very 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 strongly with the title track where pretty much every single piece of instrumentation show up on this track where we have hand drums we have these shaky percussion loose pianos and then of course we have the a very watery natural field recordings and what really is the star of this track are actually the lively flutes that just woo, they, they just sound awesome and then it reaches a very gorgeous gorgeous and holistic climax and it's just a very great ending to the album so um yeah a surprisingly good album i like the sound play i like the recordings it's nothing like uh, Para Novel's work, it is something different and it is really refreshing. And while it could open off a little stronger, I still think it's a really solid album. My favorite track here is Spirit of Love or the title track and my least favorite is Ether. unfortunately. I'm giving my Dream Fever's Rough and Beautiful Place a light to decent 8 out of 10. So, have you listened to the latest My Dream Fever album for Wendy Denim? Which is great. Like, like, and subscribe if you want more. And thanks for watching. I'm busy as hell. I have so much to do today.